I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Jameson's! Today I'm gonna share with you guys my another one custom made one six scout The Matrix figure, Lauren Fishman, aka Morpheus. I noticed some of my channel followers, also the Matrix fans, and I'm so happy to share with you guys, here is the result. And to be honest, he looks fantastic. It's a lot better than I expected. Alright, here I'm gonna show you how I build it. In this video, I'm gonna show you where I get all the resource from, custom made, how to dye the trousers and vest, and also working on the overcoat and other accessories. Alright, without further ado, let us begin. In front of us, there is all the material I need to build the Matrix Morpheus. First, we have the painted hair scalp, the African male body, the suit and trousers set, the overcoat, and sure, the katana samurai sword. Okay, let's get a closer look. Let's check it out the hair scalp. Here is the custom painted Morphe hair scalp that I have made the other videos for only the hair scalp repaint tutorials. If you haven't seen the video, you can check it now or later. And I can tell you now, I make a lot of mistakes on painting this hair scalp, but the result is still quite okay, right? And the next, we have the 1-6 scale African male body. I get this online for only around $18. If you see closely, this is the same body type that I use for my custom made one six scale The Matrix Agent Smith. The only difference is the color. The accessory included two neck joints, two five fingers, a pair of guns holding hands, a pair of relaxed hands, one gun's forearm holding hands, and this also works well holding a sword or katana. And it comes with a pair of feet too. And let's have a look at the costume. I get this online, about $34. It's actually for the movie Superman vs Batman. Use it as a casual wear for Bruce Wayne. The top included a shirt, a vest, and also the tie. The quality is really good, especially the vest. At the back, you can see the buckle there. You can adjust it if you use it for slim body tie figure. And it comes with a pair of trousers and a very nice leather belt. The material is really good. As you can see, they drop really fine. I really like the leather belt. The buckle looks amazing, just like a real belt. And it also comes with a pair of leather shoes. Obviously, they are not made from leather, it's a rubber. It's exactly the same pair of shoes that I have for Agent Smith, but only this time it's brown color. And next is the iconic train coat. This one I get online for around $17. The material is more like a PVC, but I really like the printing and the shiny part that looks really, really good. The making and tailoring is just okay, but for this price, I think it's fair. Instead of zip, they come with hook and loops fasteners that you can simply close it and stick on. And next is the iconic katana that Morpheus must have. I get this online only around $12, but the one I got it seems like not straight enough as you can see. The handle actually got really nice detail molded and good paint. And the blade is really nice glossy clone. I really like it. But the downside is I think the handle just a bit too short and I wish it longer. And the sword cover is printed with really nice detail. Overall, I like the color so I'm not gonna do any repaint on this. Last but not least, obviously, the soul of the Matrix character, the sunglasses. Instead of one pair, my colleagues has built me two pair. One is the black sunglasses, the other one is glossy mirror sunglasses. You wanna see it? Alright, I'll show you guys later. Alright, here's all the material we need. Let the journey begin. This time, I'm gonna start in the hard part. As you can see the image, Morpheus wearing a black shirt. We have to dye the shirt in black color. And also, vest and trousers actually is dark purple color. But it's no way I can find it in the market, so we need to do it ourselves. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna dye it with the red color. After it's dry, it should present dark purple color. What I got on hand is the red and black acrylic color. It's the first time for me to do this, but based on the theory, it works. First, I prepare a bowl of water that big enough to put the whole shirt in. Now we start from the shirt first. First, remove the tie. The tie is blue color. We are not going to use it, so I keep it on the side. I like the high collar design and also behind the collar there is a really nice lining. Now we mix the black acrylic color into the water. To achieve the darker black, we might need quite a lot. I also apply to the shirt directly to see the result. Is it black enough? But as we see, they are not, so I need to add more. Alright, now we try again. The black color works quite okay. I think this is good, ready to dye the whole shirt. I 
I can see from the shirt, the black color is not black enough, it presents more gray. So I need to use the other method. What I have is the black ink from my inkjet printer. Just right after apply, we can see the black ink go dark black instantly. I think this is even better, so I'm gonna put more. Now I have fully confidence about this shirt will go black nicely. And next is the vest and the trouser turn. The first I have to remove the bell, although the spell looks really good, but I don't think I'm gonna use it for this figure, so I keep it aside for the future project. After the last experience, so I'm not gonna use this red acrylic color. Again, I'm gonna use my inject printer color, magenta red, instead. When I put a little bit, I can see it's quite strong. So I have to give a try, and it's looking good. Now ready to put it in. Just in case it looks too light, I will put a bit more. So far, it's looking good. So let's try on the trouser as well. Yep, I can see it's actually go to the color that I want. But bear in mind, it's still wet. We can only see the final color after it's dry. So just be patient. Let it sit there for another 20 minutes or more. And after, we can hang it out under sunlight. Let it dry completely. At the meantime, we can start working on other parts. Let's start from the leg part. We remove the ball joint from the feet and apply to the leg. It's the time to bring back my old suit laces. We're gonna make a socks for this figure. So first, we need to cut out two, around two inches. Stuck it in with the stick and use the lighter to burn it and seal the edge like so. We need to do it on the both sides to prevent losing the thread. Now it's looking good. And next what we need to do is, using a tweezer, clip on one side and then roll it all the way to flip it over. So now you can see we got a new socks ready. Now it's good to fit on both legs. Here we got the custom made socks for 1 6 scale figure. And it definitely look good with the shoes on. Alright next, we come back for the head sculpt. In the head sculpt repaint video, I mentioned it, I drew the hole myself. The reason is, I need to add a magnet into it in order to hold the sunglasses without using any blue tap. Basically, I use the drill, carefully drew over this angle. You might need to get as close as possible between the eyes and the nose. The magnet I use is 7mm. As you can see, I already put inside the head sculpt. Now you can see, between the forehead and the nose, there is a magnet. So if I put anything metal, they will stick on in the positions, like so. Most of the head sculpt that you are able to put inside without drill. Because I believe this is handmade, so I have to drill the hole myself. All the sunglasses I have is made from metals, so they're able to stick on. As long as the sunglasses you have are made from metal, this will gonna work perfectly. So far, I believe I have come out the best way. What do you think? Please leave the comments below and let me know. And now we start working for the head scalp attached to the body. As you can see, there's two neck joints, but this head scalp is not fit on either any of them. The best way is directly fit the head scalp to the body. But before I doing that, as you can see, on the neck section of the body, they are too close to the neck. It will end up scratching or either damage the paint. So I need to trim these sections to get a best fit. After the trim, the head scalp neck is fit even better and allowed to do wider movement. And also, we need to do the same on the back section as well. Left fit on the head scalp and try. It looks good. And now simply clean it up with the folding too. Now the neck looks perfectly fit. It's time for joining the head to the body. As I mentioned it, the two neck joints are not able to use. I have a leftover neck joint for the past project and you can find that after you break the neck, there is a two soft joint. It's perfect for this head scalp. So what I'm gonna do is, the soft joint can put inside the head, but it's just too big. So I got another one. They're actually the same joint, but this one, I have trimmed it using a cutter. The joint is made from soft rubber, so it's easy to trim it down. 
I trim it just enough to squeeze in to the next sections. Make sure you don't over trim or you need to use glue to glue it on. But before that, I didn't use any glue to glue the mannequin inside the head scarf, just in case one day I need to remove it and do something else. So I decided, before I put the joint into the head scarf, I'm using a cotton bar between the mannequin and the joint to prevent the mannequin drop down. As I mentioned it, I didn't over trim the soft joint, I do need to push it in to make sure they stay well. Alright, let's check out the result. We fit the head scalp to the body and it looks great and stay well. They're nice and tight and able to do all movement. I'm happy with it. And next, I will start working for the overcoat. The first, I will add a wire on both sides to make it able to do any dynamic pose. And second, in the collar part, as we can see, they do have a lot of folded fabric going on this side, so we need to trim it down in order to get the collar folded nicely. I simply trim it out the extra fabric by scissors, but be careful not trim it too low or you will damage the thread that hold the fabric. After the trim, it definitely looks a lot cleaner, but still we can see the fabric white line. I used the black marker pen to paint it, so it will hide perfectly. To do a wire curls, I'm using the cheap wire, get it from the hardware shop. All we need is measure up the length that I need. Basically, I will need the length from the chest to the edge. On one of the end, I fold it with a small hook like this. Basically, when I push it in, they will not damage the fabric and also it might not drop out easy. The top part on the chest side is actually sealed with thread, but the lower part, they are not. So what we need to do, we need to push it in the top part and the lower part, I simply use the black tape to take the wire stay on the position I need. I didn't push the wire all the way to the edge. The reason is, it will prevent the coat edges look too thick. So now I can fold it nicely. And the edge of the coat looks nice and thin. And we do the same on the left side. After adding the wire, now the overcoat able to flip up like so to do all dynamic pose. You will see the molded watermark on all the small objects like finger or hands. To remove it is very simple. I will use lighter. Just make sure you light up the lighter like what I did. Don't overburn it. If not, they will end up black color. Basically, I will use the lighter heat melt away all the molded watermark. After this process, you will clearly see. The motor mark has gone and the detail has been improved. But this process I only suggest in the dark color figure. On the normal lighter tone plastic, it might show the burn mark. Just need to be aware. Alright, here's the black shirt, already dry. But the black color is not as I expected that black. It's more like a black and gray, like dirty. It's just like the scenes that Morpheus fighting with Agent Smith in the Matrix. The black shirt covered with sand and all the dust. Although it's not black enough, but I quite like the effect. So I'm gonna keep it this way. Wow, the shirt actually fit very well on this body type. Better than previously when I do it Agent Smith and you can see the shirt is a lot buggy. And even though the neck collar is fit perfectly on this head scalp. As usual, to prevent the shirt get pushed out from the trousers, we need to lock the shirt in the position by using the thread and needles. After that, make sure you make a knot and lock it in place. Now we have the shirt ready, start working on the collar and the tie. But before it, in the collar part, especially this section is too thick. So I have to cut it off in order to get it stayed nice and flat. And I use a black tape, cut the stripe like so, to tie around the collar. This is how I did it. First, I start from this side. Make sure you hold it nice and tight and goes around the neck all the way to the other side. 
After doing this, you realize the shirt collar actually fit nice on the neck and it looks very natural. And next, we're gonna work on the tie. This original blue tie, we are not gonna use it because Morpheus actually have a yellow tie. What I'm having here is, I got some ribbon and I tied it up, it just looked like a tie. I believe it will work on him. So let's try on. I got this 1cm ribbon from the local shop. It comes with different color, but the one I select is more like a yellow beige color. And I really like the silky materials. I believe it will look great as a tie. First, I cut a long stripe. And then I fold it one side, like so. And wrap around his neck. And give a cross like so. And then wrap underneath. Go through in the middle. Now is the crucial part. You need to fold it. If not, the knot will be too big. And wrap around again from the underneath and cross over from the top and again you need to go through from the center side from under and go around take it into the center part all the way now you can see the shape of the tie so what we need is just tidy it up a bit try to make the tie knot as small as possible and it will look more realistic and after then you can just like normal tie holding on one side and then push the knot up and there you go you have Morpheus with the working tie as you can see on the edge of these ribbons if you don't seal it they will end up losing the thread so what we need to do we trim it nice and clean and simply seal it by lighter but make sure you don't get too close or not you will overburn it and I do the same on the other side actually I trim a bit longer than I want and then I seal it so this is how it looks after tidy a bit, now we can put the collar down and to see the full result. Wow, it's better than I expected. So next, we're gonna work a bit on the collar. I simply use a soft glue, apply to the collar like so, and stick the both collar in place, and it will look nice and neat. Wow, there you go. Finally, we have the collar and time makeover all done, and it looks great, isn't it? And next, time to move on for the sleeve. Here I got the elastic string. I found it in a local art shop. When I spot this, I think it's good to keep for some future projects, like the 1-6 scale Wonder Woman lasso. But anyway, I'm still thinking. But in this time, I'm gonna use this to make a Morpheus sleeve holder. It's quite straightforward. Just wrap around the arm by the elbow side. Make sure you don't wrap it too tight. And then you do a double knot. And when you do a second knot, you can lock it tighter and lock it in place. After that, just simply trim away the extra. And now you have the sleep holder. Simple, right? I actually want to paint it in silver, more accurate to the movie. But I think gold looks cool too, so I decided to keep it that way. Wow, finally we have the vest and the trousers ready! And the color looks amazing. The purple color, it looks so close and accurate with the movie character Morpheus. Even more than I expected, the color looks a bit more silky, like in different angle or maybe shadow, the color is slightly changing. I'm so so happy with this. Here I got the tie in the blue color. The vest actually come with the same color, but now it looks a lot better. But surprisingly, on the back side of the vest, the silky material seem never effective with the red color dye. It keeps the same with the blue. But I think it's alright because most of the vest back color and the front color are different. So I'm gonna keep it that way. Without further ado, let's put it on. First, I'm adding a black tape on both sides. Just prevent when I put on the trouser, the shirt being pushed up at the same time. Compared to Agent Smith's suit, not only the shirt, this trouser fitting is a lot a lot better. As you can see, it's not easy to put it on, that means it's a good fit for this figure. And also, I decide to tuck in the tie under the trousers, so the tie will hold the position better. Because this figure gonna have a vest, it also will cover the belt, so there's no point to have a belt on. So I will keep it on the side for future project, and now put on the vest. The vest is actually with some button. All you need to do is just simply click it in. And at the back of the vest, you can adjust it. You can make it tight or loose. It's really up to you. Here we have the handsome Morpheus. The shirt, the vest, and also the trouser look just fantastic. Although the trouser is nice and fit, but still, it's not stopping him to do any action pose. And next, we're gonna put the shoes on for him. The shoe actually comes with the ball joint, but it's really tight. First, we need to heat it up, and it will help to easy to put the ball joint in. I use a plier to help me to do the job. I simply line it up correctly, and use the plier to push it down. It can fit it easily. Now we have the fit ready. I like it because it's nice and tight. 
All right, here we have the Morpheus. It looks fantastic. I love the color of the vest and the black color shirt. It doesn't affect the whole visual. I really like it. Let's try doing some pose for the Matrix Reload. The fight scene on the truck. Let's put on the train code to see the complete version. All right, here we go. We have Morpheus complete with train code, and sure, we never forgot the soul of Matrix character, the sunglasses. And this time, we got two style. Both of them are made for metal, so can be easy pick up by Manek. The one you see now is a glossy black transparency, and the other one like a mirror style. Even though in mirror style, you can see there actually is transparency as well. Both of them also around 2cm in width. Just like all my custom make the Matrix figure sunglasses, they all make for metal and plastic frame. And the good news is, finally we have collect all the material we need. For those who are interested to get a custom make 1 6 scale sunglasses, the order will be open shortly. Please stay tuned. Here I show you how to put the sunglasses on. Simply line up if you actually fit on the place because there is a mannequin inside the head. Alright, so what do you think? Do you like the black one or the mirror one? Alright, let's try on the mirror one to check it out. I actually prefer the mirror one. It looks so cool and unique. And here you go, ladies and gentlemen, Dreamson the Matrix 1-6 scale custom make Morpheus complete. Okay, let's do a quick side comparison. Here we have my 1-6 scale custom made Agent Smith. As you can see, I have built it with the same body type, so it's about the same tall. And again, in these figures, most of the custom made invention I have created when I'm building the Agent Smith. If you haven't seen it before, you can check it out later. And next, we compare with my custom made 1-6 scale The Matrix Trinity. And surprisingly, when I got this body, I didn't expect that it's actually the best match because Morpheus is just slightly taller than Trinity in the real life. And last but not least is my custom made one six scale the Matrix Neo. From the day I decide I want to build a custom made one six scale Matrix characters, he's the first successful build, and it leads the confidence to build other character like what we have now. All right, here we go. Finally, I have all the one six scale the Matrix main character in front of me. To be honest, at this moment, I really don't know how to explain the assignment to see them all together. We are gonna stop now. Um, maybe I still have something in mind. As you can see, there is empty space available for another two main character in the collections. We are gonna build it. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, if I got it, I will update to you guys soon as I can. Make sure you follow my Instagram or Facebook for any latest updating details. To build this custom make one six scout the Matrix Morpheus, total cost of spend is just ninety nine dollars. Although I have spent a lot of time looking for the right head scout, costume, and other materials, also the long waiting of posting arrival. When you got the final figure on hand, you won't regret it. The most importantly, I really enjoyed building it. I hope this video will help you guys to build your own Morpheus. I have listed all the materials in the description area. And I hope it helped you easy to find all the material you need. Alright, here's a wrap. Thanks again for staying until now. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share with your friends. And please subscribe, support this channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so you won't miss the coming soon video. I'll see you soon.